Beautiful Taurus, this is Tammy with Spot on Psychic Readings and Chippy. <laughs> He's just here for his cookie, a little cookie monster. It's good to see you all today and thanks for coming in. I'm giving Sparky his cookie too. So we're going to jump in and do your weekly reading and see what's coming up, Taurus. I hope you all had a really nice 4th of July. I know I did. It's been a little bit warm, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, Taurus, so here we go. Let's see what's coming in for you this week. Thank you all so much for your support of the channel. Some of you are in the membership program. Oh, I've got the goosebumps tuning into you. <laughs> really strong wave of goosebumps just came over me. That's a good thing. Um, so anyway, some of you joined my membership program. I'm so glad to have you here. And if you haven't, please check it out. Um, it's, there's a couple of different price levels. It helps support the channel. But also you get um, extra perks depending on the level, um, early release of videos and um, just lots of things, um, you know, extra information. You get a monthly member membership only reading. So it's for a smaller group. So there's a few more details and usually I do some mediumship for the members too. So if you're interested in any of that, click the join button and it'll give you all the details. Okay. All right, here we go, Taurus. Taurus energy. Let's scoot this back a little bit. Taurus. Strong energy like usual for Taurus. Let's see, Taurus. What's coming this week that Taurus wants or needs to know? energy really decisive cards <laughs> really 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 decisive cards okay so let's see what we've got here so I'll look at these and uh, then we'll go in and do um, clarification okay sorry I'm multitasking here <laughs> Okay, so let's start out here, Taurus. Um, we've got this little page of swords, first thing, really significant coming up for you guys this week. And this is usually a spy or somebody who's really curious about you. So we're going to have to clarify him and see where that goes. Your crossing card is interesting, Ace of Cups. I wonder what's going on here, Taurus. We're going to have to clarify and see because this reading is full. It's going to be full of details. I can feel it coming already. I feel like maybe there's like a new attraction for some of you that you um, feel a little conflict about with this Ace of Cups, you know, new beginnings in love, like your heart center kind of stirring, like that new beginning, those little feelings of attraction kind of <laughs> stirring up around you this week, okay? You have got possibly a new friend on your mind. So this is having to do with this Page of Cups. So it's something about um, a new friend who might turn romantic. This could definitely be why you're feeling these new stirrings of love. So we'll clarify and see. Page of Cups is somebody who can be a romantic friend or just a good friend. It can be somebody who is a water sign um, like, like Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, have a lot, you know, a lot of emotional charge with this Page of Cups. Right next to it, we have got, what do we have? I'm going to put on the dark rim glasses. <laughs> There's a story behind the dark rim glasses. Five of Cups. There's something about a betrayal here, um, Taurus. There's something about a betrayal. And this is having to do with, um, like, this new friend's coming in. I see why there's a conflict, because I feel like you're still dealing with some betrayal that you went through before. We'll get into this deeper as we clarify and see what's coming. The story of the dark rims glasses <laughs> is in the video I released yesterday called um, backhanded compliments have you had backhanded compliments you can look it up and you'll hear the whole story about the dark rim glasses <laughs> okay all right so uh, if you haven't heard it yet I'll have to attach it to this video so anyway coming up in your immediate future this is so good Taurus this is a victory card okay and it's also public acclaim six of wands is all about you having a victory it's not a quiet little victory. It's, an, it's a victory where 
people are celebrating with you. People are watching. People are standing back going, whoa, look at Taurus, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. So we'll see where this is going. Very interesting energy. Um, we have the Queen of Swords coming up in your more extended future here, Taurus. And I don't know why this caught my eye, but it's for somebody. Look at this beautiful cat that she has with her. It looks like um, a Persian or a Himalayan or something. Okay. And she's got the doves of peace all around her. I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if it's focusing or not. Anyway, um, this is all about um, you having some power like you're taking your power back I feel really strongly you know how cats are very independent you know cats do what they want they're not out they're not people pleasers <laughs> you know and that's what I'm feeling with this particular Queen of Swords and the Queen of Swords cuts things out and she's no nonsense and she's very mental intelligent and all those things but in this particular reading for you particular Taurus who are listening I'm feeling like she's taking her power back there's something there where she's cut something out that really um, brought some good things into her and we'll see what it is and it's right on the heels of this this victory that came up okay so when we go over here uh, a little bit further out we've got the lovers card <laughs> this is all in your energy Taurus so this is all about you uh, making some choices or maybe having maybe choosing between lovers um, maybe you just making choices in general it depends on the individual you know I always say take it as it resonates because not every card will fit every single Taurus but there it is um, plain as day we've got a lot of love stuff going on here we've got ace of cups we've got the lovers card we've got the page of cups and we've got a victory <laughs> okay so there's something going on here um, a little bit different from what I usually see with Taurus so interesting now, this is in your hopes and fears position, this Ten of Pentacles. And Ten of Pentacles is about financial security. So you may be worrying about your financial stability at this time, or you're hoping it's gonna increase, or you're a little concerned about it, things like that. Again, we'll clarify. Your final outcome is all about um, success. Again, we've got two success cards that came up, Ten of Wands, and this victory card, This. Uh, six of Wands. So the thing that I get about this one, this final outcome is don't work too hard. Work smart, not hard. <laughs> okay, if you can. Because there's something here about feeling like Taurus, you're carrying a heavy burden with this success. Maybe you're working too hard or maybe you need to put down some of these burdens. And I feel like this worry card that came up with the Ten of Pentacles um, is definitely having to, it's driving you to work harder than maybe you should or want to or something like that. Okay. All right, so let's see what else we've got here. Where do we want to clarify? Let's let's clarify with these Taurus. Let's see. Wow, this one is alive. It wants to come up. Page of Cups again. <laughs> I, did you see that? It was like moving all around as soon as I grabbed the cards. I was getting ready to clarify Page of Cups, and Page of Cups comes up. That's no accident. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry, this is Page of Swords. Page of Cups is over here. Okay, all right, but, but there are no accidents in readings. They're telling me that that was not an accident because Page of Swords is the same as the Page of Cups. Oh, okay, because I was like, what, did I, did I mess up? No, <laughs> no, Tammy, you did not, is what they're saying. So these are, this is all one and the same, you guys. So Page of Swords is somebody who's curious about you, looking into you. This is really significant, all right? Um, that person is also a person who is um, a friend who may turn romantic. Maybe you haven't met them yet, or maybe you have, but here they are. And this may be what's causing a conflict with this Ace of Cups, but let's keep clarifying and see. <laughs> Interesting. You know, this happened on your reading for the six months, too. A lot of people mentioned it and I'm glad you did because I hadn't caught it um, but people said I put the September card in the December slot or vice versa and um, you know when I went back and I asked my guides about it I didn't go back and rewatch the video but I asked the guides like what happened there what was that all about and they said for some people December the December card was going to happen in September and for other people the September card would happen in December it did get switched up so take that as it resonates if you watch that six, the next six months reading. Take that as it resonates for you. 
Um, Spirit gives me things very literally sometimes, and that was not a mistake. It, I'm sure it looked like a mistake to a lot of people watching, but that's how tarot card readings, that's how psychic readings go. You know, Spirit gives me messages in a lot of ways, and I feel like that switch, um, I mean, that's what they said to me, that switching of cards happened for a reason, just like it did here, to tell me that Page of Cups and Page of Swords is one and the same, okay? Let's look at why Ace of Cups is a conflict. That's that new attraction coming for you. Why is that a challenge <laughs> or conflict? Because you might just want to be alone. That's why. Some of you are like, no, I've already been in a toxic relationship. Yeah, and it showed up with this um, Five of Cups too. I've already been in that kind of toxic relationship shown in the Hermit. Don't want to do it again. Uh-oh. Oh no, I'm feeling something. <laughs> that kind of thing. Also, you might just be more focused on your financial stability shown in this King of Pentacles. Or maybe you want a more mature person than what is showing up with this Page of Cups. Because Page of Cups, let me make sure I don't lose that card. Page of Cups is sometimes a younger person or somebody who's very playful or very footloose and fancy free and not real serious. Whereas King of Pentacles is more mature and very very focused on financial security and things like that. Sometimes a father, you know, an advisor, you know, they're just more mature. So some of the choosing, I saw the choices card in this lovers, some of it could be between the King of Pentacles and Page of Cups, which is a younger and older person or a more mature person or like more fun and playful and light kind of person. I feel like you're choosing between two personality types, okay? So also to clarify, we've got Ace of Swords. Yeah, so you have cut some things out, which is why you're afraid, some of you, not everybody, but a little bit challenged or afraid of this new beginning in love that's coming up. It's like this, this stirring in the heart center is making some of you feel really nervous. <laughs> like, uh-oh, I don't, I don't even want to go there. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Let's look at, um, who's this Page of Cups? Ooh could be a karmic for some of you and that's not necessarily a fun I mean it can be a really fun relationship at least for a while <laughs> karmic relationships watch out for that it could just be a major life change let's get a little more mm, five of swords there's some negative energy in this page of cups so if it is a karmic energy watch out for negative energy watch out for the backhanded compliments like I was saying in that other video um let's see what else page of cups who is that for Taurus mm, maybe a really sudden love affair with this eight of wands or somebody you meet on a trip something that happens really quickly and I feel like it is going to come in quickly and that in itself may cause a challenge Let's clarify the clarification, which is King of Pentacles. Who is your King of Pentacles, Taurus? And then we'll go to the second row. An interesting reading. It's going and it's branching off into um, a lot of really interesting things here. So your King of Pentacles is clarified by some sort of power struggle with this Two of Swords. Something about... Um, can't go forward, can't go back, maybe can't make a decision, maybe holding back on something. Maybe there's something about King of Pentacles that you don't want to see. You know, you can see she has a blindfold on. So there's something there about, mm, I don't know, just <laughs> maybe not. Yeah, and here's your Taurus card. You could be connecting with another Taurus, some of you. Not everybody, but some of you are connecting with another Taurus or you're thinking about marriage, commitment, dedication with this King of Pentacles. And it's at odds with Page of Cups. Again, two different people here who are coming in as a love interest because you want to be very grounded financially. This guy's grounded financially, um, this King of Pentacles. But your Page of Cups is a whole lot more fun. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I feel like there's something going on there with, you know, that's the conflict in this. So let's go over to your victory card, Taurus. 
what's coming with Taurus's victory? Let's see. Oh, there's a Queen of Cups involved with this victory. Now, Queen of Cups is um, a woman who's a very good listener, very heart-centered, sometimes a mother. And I feel like this is somebody who's looking over you. This could be you as well, but also look how she's looking over onto this victory. <laughs> so it's like she's watching it. She may be the person watching you get this victory. This could be um, your your page of cups. This could be your new love interest as well, because she is very heart centered, very nurturing, very open, very emotionally in tune, very intuitive. Yeah, something's going to come rushing in with your victory. <laughs> Look at this. Super fast moving energy. What is this for Taurus? Look at this. Here's Eight of Pentacles. Now, this is something that you're going to be really passionate about. So it could be a victory with your work. It could be a big win with your business. Maybe you get some big account something like that where people are really cheering you on and you're cheering yourself on and you're really proud of it really happy about it but it's some you know eight of pentacles is often a business that you own or being an entrepreneur or something like that so let's see what else sagittarius flashed up there just for a second for somebody it wasn't enough to pull it but it was enough for me to mention it yeah you're getting some kind of good news that leads to this victory so I would watch for good news, letters, um, things like that, having to do with your business or the startup of some new project or something like that that brings this um, happy victory in for you. And also it's connected with fast moving energy and a queen of cups. Okay. All right. Let's see what else. We're going to go over to the next one, which is queen of swords, which is your more extended future. So I would expect this victory anywhere from today through the next you know, two or three weeks. And this Queen of Swords energy, I would say next month, like a month to six weeks out, either you're going to feel like the Queen of Swords, kind of shut down, kind of pull back, or you're going to connect with the Queen of Swords, okay? Hmm. Yeah, there might be some anxiety or sadness. And again, I'm going back to this Five of Cups that came up earlier in your energy. There's been some sort of betrayal. And I, I know these are these are connected, <clears throat> this Queen of Swords and betrayals. I mean, those do go hand in hand because Queen of Swords is someone who has been injured, hurt, and has very much pulled back her emotions. She's thinking with her head, very intelligent. But she's leading with her head, not her heart at this point in the more extended future. So I think there might be anxiety coming up. Why is that? Why is that for Taurus? What's that anxiety about? Because you went from being super happy to Queen of Swords and anxiety. Let's see. Okay, so we've got the Emperor. <clears throat> we've got the Emperor energy here, Taurus. Let's put my glasses on. My very dark rimmed glasses. <laughs> Just crack me up. Okay, so um, this emperor can be an Aries energy. This emperor can also be someone who is involved in real estate or something like that. This emperor could be in a relationship with Queen of Swords or was. And maybe this emperor is who... Uh, cause this betrayal for you Taurus okay the Emperor can have to do with any kind of foundations or housing or building things okay he's the guy who is in charge and for some reason he may be the person causing this anxiety let me get one more on that let's get one more on that for Taurus What's that anxiety all about? Oh, Five of Swords, yeah. So I feel like there's been some really negative energy coming in at you, or will be, actually, I'm looking six weeks out now, um, will be coming into you with this Five of Swords energy. Maybe from that emperor, uh, maybe having to do with real estate or houses or building things, bridges, the emperor builds bridges. Yeah, and also a King of Swords. And King of Swords, 
Queen of Swords can be divine counterparts, but I feel like they're not together anymore. That's my feeling. That may not be true for everybody here, but King of Swords and Queen of Swords both shut their feelings off. They're very mental, but they're not, um, they're not heart centered. And they're very strategic, especially, wow, especially King of Swords. And now we've got King of Cups coming up. He's reversed. So I feel like Queen of Swords was, is really jaded. If this is representing you, Taurus, you might be feeling really jaded because of these two men. I feel like this is, these are two different men. This one, not emotional at all, emotional at all. And this one can be secretive and have addictions and things like that. This King of Cups reversed, okay? And again, we're, we're going over here to your energy is showing the lover's card. So for some of you, you're choosing between two people and you've already been through some sort of betrayal. So you're not real trusting to begin with for good reason. And because of those two, those two different personality types and the page, I'm sorry, not the page, the king, the king of cups and the king, the king of swords that I just pulled. Okay. I feel like those two personality types are very different but they were equally bad for you, not working for you, okay? And that's why there's this Queen of Swords energy. I hope you're following this. This is so complicated. <laughs> they have branched me off into a lot of different details here, and I knew they were. I knew they were. Nonetheless, you're getting your Wheel of Fortune. Look at this. You've got, I knew this was coming up again. I was like, I was just thinking to myself, like, yeah, but there's a victory. There's all this kind of love drama going on under the surf, you know, around in this under the surface. But there's this big victory card here in the middle of everything. And here it is. I didn't even ask for clarification on it. Here it is, Wheel of Fortune. It's like, okay, the love stuff is not great, but the um, money stuff and the job stuff and um, new projects and if you own a business and things like that, are exploding <laughs> I feel like in a good way so that looks super good I mean not everybody gets wheel of fortune Taurus so I mean that's your luck changing and everything turning in your favor and you know all those sorts of things let's look at the I think I know why you're afraid of ten of Pentacles I think just about everybody is right now quite honestly you know uh, worried about financial stability whoa so let's look at um, Ten of Wands, and that's your final outcome for this week. And of course, some of this went beyond this week, like Queen of Swords and all of that went six weeks out. Okay, we just look at this weekly. So, but this is this week working too hard. Success, again, we've got the third success card here, but this one comes at a price. This one's like, yeah, you've got a lot of success, but you worked for it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you might be feeling a little unclear as to if you're happy about doing this or not. We got Seven of Cups. Like, there's a little bit of uh, smoke and mirrors or something there. There's your King of Cups again. King of Cups is coming up around work and your success and that sort of thing. Now he's upright this time. And he's the guy who's a very good listener, good advisor, very heart-centered, very nurturing. Somebody who's very, very trustworthy. And you're getting your wish. Look at this wish fulfillment card, Taurus. So here we go. So yeah, you've got some stuff that's, you know, looks iffy on the love scene and it looks a little bit like a roller coaster ride. Then you've got all the success. You've got six of wands, wheel of fortune, ten of wands, and nine of cups. <laughs> Taurus, oh my goodness, it doesn't get any better than this. This is amazing. This is amazing. I want you to know how amazing this is. Wow. So um, everything's coming together here. Let's pull one, one last card for Taurus. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you are going to get some kind of really super good news. I would watch for that today, even all the way through the next week. I feel like you're getting some kind of good news that really brings all of this in, all of the success and winning and victory and turn of luck and all those things. This is a passionate message, you know, 
will fill you with like some feeling of passion and good news and happiness and all that sort of thing and you're going to want to throw a party <laughs> like they are. So Taurus, thank you so much for coming in today. I always really enjoy your energy and of course Chippy and Sparky do too <laughs> and I enjoy reading for you very very much so thanks for coming in and do check out the membership program and give this a like if you didn't already and subscribe if you haven't would love to have you here and I will see you all again soon okay have a good one bye now <laughs>